Now sometimes called the Oprah of Africa, Nigeria's uh, Mosmola Mo Abudu is leader in the African television industry. She runs the only country, uh, rather continent-wide television network and hosts its flagship talk show. Her mission, to shed stereotypes and portray Africa as a dynamic modern place that grapples with complex issues. Heather Mandok reports from Lagos. There's no shortage of glamour in Lagos, Nigeria's financial capital, and home to Nollywood, arguably the most prolific film industry in the world. And there might be no one in Lagos more glamorous than Mo Abudu, who heads Ebony Life TV, which calls itself Africa's first global black entertainment and lifestyle network. It beams into nearly every country on the continent. At her office in Lagos, Abudu says that for her, media is not just entertainment. I think it's critical for Africa to tell its own story. I was born in the UK, went to school in the UK. I've been asked the most absurd questions about who I am. And I think that I felt that media was the, one of the most powerful tools that I could use to let the world know who we were. These realities include a growing middle class and modern technologies impacting all aspects of life, she says. The network's flagship program, a talk show called Moments with Mo, has led fans to dub Abudu as Africa's Oprah. People judge you based on what you wear. Definitely. How did that feel? Right. Never, ever, That's ever it. Give you up. just you keep know, moving just on. Keep moving. And then Abudu says she hasn't yet met American media mogul and TV star Oprah Winfrey, but she wants to. Because this is someone that I've looked up to all my life. You know, she's a, an unknowing mentor, but a black woman that is, you know, that is strong, that is powerful, and she has made her impact felt globally. In the meantime, Ebony Life is sponsoring a new home in Lagos that is expected to house a hundred girls who would otherwise live on the streets. Abudu says young African women face enormous challenges, but she's living proof that it's possible for them to lead industries on the continent. What I'd like to say to young women in Africa today that want to be like me is that you have to just work really, really hard. You have to believe in yourself. You're going to get lots of knocks, people telling you you can't do it, which is why it's important for you to have that deep-seated belief that you can do it. Abudu doesn't deny that some African stereotypes like crushing poverty and barren desert lands are part of life in Nigeria. But Africa is changing fast, she says, and part of her mission is to show that these stereotypes aren't the entire picture. Heather Murdoch, for VOA News, Lagos. Well, and on that note, we end our show for today. Be sure to watch Africa 54 on our website at voaafrica.com. For more news, tune in to VOA's evening radio show, Africa News Tonight at 1800 UTC. And in the morning, still daybreak Africa between 0300 and 0600 UTC, Monday through Friday. Thanks a lot for watching. From all of us in Washington, have a good night.